Where did the Picts come from? In one legend, the Picts were descended from the ancient Irish goddess Brigid. In Irish mythology, Brigid is part of the Tuatha Dé Danann, a supernatural race who are often associated with stories of ancient fairies. Brigid is known to have been the goddess of healing, protection, wisdom, poetry, blacksmithing and domesticated animals. According to some, Britain gets his name from Brigid. Other origin stories of the Picts suggest that they originally come from Scythia in Central Asia, around the Black Sea and the southern Russian region, and initially conquered the people of ancient Scotland. It is interesting that Scythia is mentioned in some origin stories of the Picts, as the Scythians are a people I have made a video on previously, as the Declaration of Arbroath mentions Scythia as the origin of the Scots. The reality, however, is that we are not sure where the Picts came from. Were the indigenous people of the land or foreign conquerors? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. The Picts eventually merged with the Gaels and became assimilated into the Gaelic culture, with the adoption of the Christian religion occurring as part of this process. Pickland gradually disappeared, replaced by the kingdom of Alapa or Alba, in 843 AD, when the Picts and the Gaels, also known as the Scots, merged into one kingdom. Prior to this, Pictish kings controlled the Gaelic kingdom of Dalriada for periods during the 8th century. For instance, the king of the Picts, Angus I, son of Fergus, controlled Dalriada for much of his reign. Exactly how the kingdom of Alba or Alapa was formed is somewhat disputed, with some legends suggesting that many Pictish chiefs were deceitfully slaughtered by Kenneth MacAlpin, the first king of Alapa, and were therefore forced to merge with the Scots. Known as the Treachery of Schoon, the story goes that Kenneth MacAlpin, the king of the Gaels, also known as the Scots, of Dalriada, invited many Pictish nobles to a banquet. As the Pictish nobles ate, trapdoors below their seats were released, revealing pits that were filled with deadly spikes. As the story goes, this episode allowed Kenneth I to conquer the Picts, merging the Gaels, also known as the Scots, and the Picts into the kingdom of Alapa or Alba. The Treachery of Schoon story is considered to be historically inaccurate by many, and is probably more legend than history. In reality, the Picts and the Scots probably merged largely because they were stronger together than divided, and they were facing many attacks from Viking raiders. What do you know about the Picts? Please let me know in the comments below, as I am doing a series on the Pictish history of Scotland and a few of my future videos. Thank you, speak to you soon. Thanks for watching. Please support this work through buymeacoffee.com and Patreon. All the links are in the description below. Through buymeacoffee.com, you can make small or large one-off donations that help support this work, with there also being an option to make recurring donations every month. Through Patreon, you will gain exclusive access to participate in my bi-monthly Q&A, the ability to vote in exclusive polls, and your name will be included in a special thank you message in each of my videos, all for as little as £1 per month. The link to the Patreon page of Celtic History Decoded is in the description below. Please also remember to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell so that you're notified every time I post a video. And remember to follow Celtic History Decoded on Instagram and Twitter. If you're interested in history in general, subscribe to my other channel, History Decoded. Thank you, speak to you soon.